And I'm pleased to be tonight's moderator for this evolution versus creation debate. This is a very old question. Where did we come from? My answer is from Washington this morning by airplane. <laughs> but there is a much more profound, longer answer that people have sought after for a long time. So tonight's question to be debated is the following. Is creation a viable model of origins in today's modern scientific era? Our welcome extends to hundreds of thousands of people who are watching on the internet at debatelive.org. We're glad you have joined us. Of course, to our auditorium here, all of the folks have joined us as well. We're joined by 70 media representatives from many of the world's great news organizations. We're glad to have them here as well. And now let's welcome our debaters, Mr. Bill Nye and Mr. Ken Ham. We had a coin toss earlier to determine who would go first of these two men. The only thing missing was Joe Namath in a fur coat, <laughs> but it went very well. Mr. Ham won the coin toss, and he opted to speak first. But first, let me tell you a little bit about both of these gentlemen. Mr. Nye's website describes him as a scientist, engineer, comedian, author, and inventor. Mr. Nye, as you may know, produced a number of award-winning TV shows, including the program he became so well-known for, Bill Nye, the Science Guy. While working on the Science Guy show, Mr. Nye won seven National Emmy Awards for writing, performing, and producing. The show won 18 Emmys in five years. In between creating the shows, he wrote five kids' books about science, including his latest title, Bill Nye's Great Big Book of Tiny Germs. Bill Nye is the host of three television series. His program, The 100 Greatest Discoveries, airs on the Science Channel, The Eyes of Nye, airs on PBS stations across the country. He frequently appears on interview programs to discuss a variety of science topics. Mr. Nye serves as executive director of the Planetary Society, the world's largest space interest group. He is a graduate of Cornell with a bachelor's of science degree in mechanical engineering. Mr. Ken Ham is the president and co-founder of Answers in Genesis, a Bible-defending organization that upholds the authority of the scriptures from the very first verse. Mr. Ham is the man behind the popular high-tech creation museum where we're holding this debate. The museum has had two million visitors in six years and has attracted much of the world's media. The Answers in Genesis website is well-trafficked with two million visitors alone last month. Mr. Ham is also a best-selling author, a much-in-demand speaker, and the host of a daily radio feature carried on 700-plus stations. This is his second public debate on evolution and creation. The first was at Harvard in the 1990s. Mr. Ham is a native of Australia. He earned a bachelor's degree in applied science with an emphasis in environmental biology from the Queensland Institute of Technology, as well as a diploma of education at the University of Queensland in Brisbane, Australia. And now, Mr. Ham, you opted to go first, so you will be first with your five-minute opening statement. 